Come on, bring it up. How y'all doing? I got 12 minutes. What's up? 12 minutes. Let's go. That's, a, that's, a, that's an everlasting law. Vegetables? He don't want to eat vegetables? No, fruits and herbs. It's the sun in the sky. It rains and food grow from the earth. So, so you, are, you under the Nazarite. So what you say? You under the Nazarite diet? All that. No shaving, none of that. Okay. So where did where'd that come from? Where did that come from? Yes. Adam. Came from Adam. Yeah. First Let's get one. the Nazarite diet. Let's get that. Uh, I think it's in Judges. Let's get that. So you say, um, you say, you say you on the Nazarene, you a Nazarene, and you don't. You, what we talking about is all false. What do you so? What are we talking about? This false? Ain't no, ain't no Jude in Genesis one, just man and woman. We all one breath under God. Okay, let's talk about this Nazarite vow. Then we are gonna talk about that. You first off, the Nazarite vow comes from the Bible, brother. If you don't believe, look, brother. I thought you said you had twelve minutes. They don't like that, man. They think he think we some a-holes because we ain't giving no money. But the thing is, it's the Sabbath. And we can't give you no money on the Sabbath. But we can give you the help, uh, help in other ways. All right? And I want to hit this real quick, bro. Because a lot of times when we come out here and preach this word, people try to give us money. And the thing is, we appreciate the, the offer. We understand where, where, where y'all coming from with that spirit. We're preaching God's word. And y'all believe that this is our, uh, we deserve some kind of reward for that. But that's not, our reward is the teaching of the word. It's not, our reward is not by payment. When we preach this word, we are not expecting anything from y'all, but, but we want y'all to repent. We don't want your money. Thank you, but we don't want it. We don't want it. First Corinthians chapter nine, verse 18. What is my reward then? Verily that when I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of Christ without charge. See that? Our reward is without, we don't, we don't charge you for preaching this. We don't, we don't expect no arms from, no, no uh, tithes and offering from you right now. We out here to preach to you, not, we didn't come out here, this ain't no hustle. We didn't set up shop so we can get paid. We set up shop for the renewing of God's people. We don't care, we don't want your money. And the reason we don't give y'all money is because it's the Sabbath. And honestly, what are y'all gonna do with it? That's not gonna help you. Well, if I give you some money right now, you gonna head over to the store. That's my sin. We'll be helping y'all in our sin. So to avoid even nothing, well, it's a Sabbath day. Ain't no money transactions happening on today. First thing. Second thing, to keep you out of saying, no, we're not giving you no money. And the word is without charge. Believe it or not, y'all, this word is free. You just gotta look for it. You just gotta look for it. Read that again, right? First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 18. What is my reward then? Verily that, when I preach the gospel, I make I may make the gospel of Christ without charge. All praise. The gospel of Christ is without charge. What else is it say? That I abuse not my power in the gospel. See, that would be an abuse of power. When we speak, we speak against the oracles of God. An abuse of power would be us charging y'all for God's word. Boy, God, I have out, boy, God will destroy us for that. And we, we are afraid of God's so that's why we even keep y'all. We, like, we, we even keep from giving y'all money. We don't want y'all in sin. That's how afraid we are of God. And that's the, we're trying to increase that fear in our brothers and sisters. You pay? No. <laughs> All praise to the most high. I want to, I keep on getting my point. Riches are not coming. That's a lot. Riches are not coming to a nigga. Is that it? Because also, how you doing, little man? What's up, little man? How you doing? I'm the whale. You the whale? What's up, Dewey? How you doing, man? That's what's up, Dewey. Hey, y'all, we the red pops. Hey, we preaching out this word, man. We teaching our people who they are. Why don't you and the world come listen real quick? I got a full head. Got a full head. You can sit it down and rest, man. Off course, everything. How cold is it? It'll last for a little minute. No, it won't. Now you got it. 
The mo look, you call her guy word, man. You guys gonna be fine. All right, y'all, well, y'all be safe, all right? Protect, protect little man. Y'all be careful crossing that street. Yeah, you gonna keep him safe. God say, God say, he called, he want the little children. He want those his soldiers. Those who give me one power of 24 hours. Trying to child, am I right? Power 24, 22. Hey, those, hey, hey, those little ones are his soldiers, man. Those are the ones you want to bring. You want them with God because that's who's going to take God's kingdom back. Oh, we, we are a teacher. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. The words say train up a child in the way he should go. So, as soon as you get possession of that little baby, when they can comprehend, start teaching. And don't be ashamed. You can sit down with your little infant and talk to him about God's word. God's word is sharp. The word is sharp like a sword. Give me that up. Hold that. Give me that. God's word. Y'all, we were underestimating it. You, my son say, train him up a child when he is young. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Where's the warriors? Look, man, he's ready to talk. <laughs> he's ready to talk. <laughs> Look at him. But I understand. I do understand. Believe. There we go. Let's get that. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. The word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So that means when you try to go back to my uh, Proverbs 22. When you train that child when he's young, as soon as you can, Preach that word to him. Preach that word to him. Because that's who God wants. He ain't all Israel. The believer. Them children. Them the pure ones. They got no sin on them. And the boy ain't know no woman. All praise to the most high. He only know about what, he, what, he, what is taught around him. How you doing, bro? You got time to hear a couple of scripts? I will hear these on the way over. Let me show you. You got kids? All right, listen to this. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Train up your child in the way he should go. That's in the, that's in the way of the commandments. To follow the most high. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Do y'all hear that? It says when he is old, he will not depart from it. How old am I? In my 30s. And I'm out here preaching this word. Imagine... Now I don't get. The, I got this word late in life, but imagine a young man brought up from his youth in this word. Imagine how powerful he's gonna be for God. And y'all so worried about the generation, saying that the kids getting bad. They got no respect for their elders no more. They got no respect for anybody. They raise each other, and you're so concerned about that. Train them up in the way you should go in God's word, and you ain't got nothing to worry about. They're going to be like Job, a skill of evil. We used to rock, uh, I think it's five. Feet from the face of a circle. No, that's not five. When they get older, they're going to be powerful in the word of God. Y'all think we're bad right now. Y'all think we're standing in this corner right now and get on y'all nerves. Wait till it's like 30 of us out here. Deep. Got the whole station on lock. It's coming. Cause that's what we out here do. We out here train up our children in the way they should go. I think it's a 16, 13, something like that. Feet for face for How you doing, brother? Hey, right, Salon, so brother. I uh I got a question. What's the one thing God cannot do? What's the one thing God can't do? Yeah. He's got everything. What can he, what, but there's one thing that he can't do. Think about, uh, I'm going to keep dancing real quick. Go ahead, uh, what's the guy? Titus chapter 1, verse 2. In hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world begins. God can't lie. So everything in this word, everything in the Bible is the truth. 
But you know that? And when you know the truth, the truth makes you free, right? Exactly. So I want to ask you, do you know what today is? Okay, what, what, but what day is it according to God? What day is it according to God? Yeah. Come on, let's get it. According to God, this is what today, this is what today is. Genesis chapter two, verse one. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended His work which He had made, and He rested on the seventh day from all His work which He had made. So today is the seventh day, but God worked six days, and in six days He would com He completed all His work and rested on the seventh day. Go ahead. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. He blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. That means when they say sanctified, it means it made it righteous. So the seventh day of the week is the, is the most righteous day of the week. It's the righteous day. It's the righteous day. Give me a... Go ahead. All right. It says 28. Go ahead. But, go. Thank you. Listen to this, though. Why are you walking out? Listen to this. Right. Book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. It's also the Sabbath day. It is a holy day. Man, it's set apart from every other day. Yeah, I'm familiar with that because on the Saturday, it's Sabbath day. Yeah, you sure you're familiar with it. So did you know? Because, uh, let's just say my mother and my father go to church over there. They do what? They go to church over there. Over there? Yeah, in St. Louis, in St. Louis. Saturday, Saturday. Oh, they they Seventh-day Adventists. Okay. Well, we, we're not Seventh-day Adventists. No, 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 no. Okay, I get what you said, but I'm saying, I'm, I'm letting you know that we're not. I'm letting you know we're not. That's what I'm saying. I'm just letting you know one background where I'm coming from, where, uh, where I've been influenced, especially where I've been following y'all on Instagram, and guys like y'all. Who you been following? Uh, what's his name? Uh, guys with the purple, uh, just like y'all. Talking about, uh, yeah, we know, we know them brothers. You know, y'all know him? Yeah, we know him. Know him. Well, I have a friend that joined, the, I mean, that joined the, that nation right there, so. Okay. So, he been talking to me about that, but I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be real. Well, listen. Okay, well, you say you got your brother, you say your friend? No, 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 I don't. No, I say you got your brother, who you say you got a brother, somebody yeah, I that does? I got a brother, I mean, I got a friend, this is, this is my brother, this is my brother, and my friend's here. Okay. And he joined what y'all doing. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I'm, I mean, that's good to hear because he needed to do his life turning around. Everybody, we all do. He, you do too. Yeah. But I'm saying, listen to your prayer, man. Listen to him. Because what he got, what he got for you is going to save your life. So if you got if you got you don't have time to hear us, when you're around him, hear him. Okay. Huh? Yeah, he's correct. He ain't he, it ain't nothing wrong. Cause we, we think about it. We teach we teach love. We teach you love your neighbor as yourself. How could that be wrong? I'm a Nazarene, bro. That's that shit fake. You a Nazarene? I'm a Nazarene easy night. I don't think you really know what that means. Uh, try to stop playing. You don't want to go to Genesis 129 as our natural law. What? Genesis 129 is our natural law. We Genesis 129. Come on, bring it up. How y'all doing? What you talking about? I got 12 minutes. What's up? 12 minutes. Let's go. So that's the that's the everlasting law. Vegetables. He don't want to eat vegetables. No, fruits and herbs. It's a sun in the sky. It rains and food grows from the earth. Sun so you are, you under the Nazarite. So when you say you under the Nazarite diet, all that, no shaving, none of that. Okay. So where did where that come from? Where did that come from? Yes. Adam. Came from Adam. Yeah. First Let's get one. the Nazarite diet. Let's get that. Uh, I think it's in Judges. Let's get that. So you say um, you say you say you under Nazarite. You a Nazarene and you don't. You, what we talking about is all false. What do you say? So what are we talking about? This false. Ain't no, ain't no Jude in Genesis when it's just man and woman. We all one breath under God. Okay, let's talk about this Nazarite vow, then we're going to talk about that. You, first off, the Nazarite vow comes from the Bible, brother. If you don't believe, look, brother, I thought you said you had 12 minutes. Man, 12 minutes, show got short. Right, you should be able to listen in. I should be able to listen and speak, man. Brother, brother, brother over there talking about he under the Nazarite. The Nazarite vow comes from the Bible, man. You don't know that? 
You got you around vegetarians, man. You talking about you basically you a vegetarian. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But don't but don't confuse it. Right. How y'all doing? <laughs> hey brother, I'm Yeah, but he he dis he he he, he dissected and cut it apart. Alright, so y'all got any questions? Cause that's what we out here to do, y'all. We out here to teach our people out the Bible. As a matter of fact, since brother brought out the Nazarite Bible, can I educate y'all on it? Let's get there. I'm going to educate y'all. So, everybody know about Samson, right? Yeah. I believe, um... Tell us about Samson. He was the one with the long hair, right? Yeah, Samson had long hair. Samson... Okay. I like... This, this is cool. <laughs> so, Samson is a Nazarite. Was it, he was, yeah, he's a Nazarite, he's okay? A Nazarite. What a lot of our brothers and sisters get confused on is they say Samson lost his strength in his hair, right? His what? His strength was in his hair. Y'all heard that? Right, right, yeah. Okay. If they cut his hair, he loses his strength. Right. But Samson was also an Israelite. Okay? Right. Right through his bloodline. So, come on, let me show y'all this. Come on, real quick. Real quick. Y'all don't know where I ain't gonna. I'm a. So, these are the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? God gave his laws to his 12 tribes. Okay? Right. These are the, the people that he gave the commandments to. Do y'all see y'all? Do y'all see y'all nationality on here? Mm. Look up and through it. Just go ahead. Look up. Uh, examine. Know, really know my yeah, that's why I'm gonna okay. ask you too. I, ain't lie. I don't know my my bloodline. I'm a Judah. No, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm. Which? What are you? You uh, Jacob. I would be considered Judah, but we are under Jacob. Jacob yeah. is the father of the twelve tribes. Under Judah. No, no. Which? Jacob is above Judah. Jacob is the father of the twelve tribes. Okay, yeah. So I would, as I as is known to me, I'm Judah. Right. But you never know what you really got right. like well, with yeah, all right. through that. Right. Exactly. Because uh, we colonized. That's what I'm saying. We mix our genes. I don't know. But what? Can I ask you this? Is, well, he said you don't know. I, no, I, I know Indian you know for sure. Okay. So if you say Indian, you'd be under the tribe of Gad, American uh, Indians. So that's to be the so-called Native Americans, right? Is that what you're talking about? Okay. Well, that's okay. Hey, brother, do you believe in the Awaski? Awaski. Man, I, I, I'm the one that turned Mallory Vegan to Mallory. That bullshit. Man, you just, you look. Brother, you proud. You don't know nothing, man. You ain't talking about nothing. I killed for eating flesh in the wilderness. If he fed the manna for 40 years, they could vegan for 40 years, but put it together. Let me get the. It's come here, bro. You, listen, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with being a vegan, man. But you can't, you can't condemn the meat eaters. <laughs> All right. All right. Cause God blesses the food. He said, He said, go to that verse. All right. You want? He blesses the. Are we all over the place. We all over the place. Yeah, we is. Let's 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 bring it back. Let's talk about let's talk about what that brother talked about. I want to educate yeah, y'all. Yeah. What he talking so about? So Samson was an Israelite. Okay. Right. God used him. Let's get that in Judges. I believe it's uh is it chap get chapter one. It, 13. Let's get it. When it talks about how Samson was a uh, the angel came to Samson's parents. Judges chapter 13 verse verse 5. For lo, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his head. So that's the angel talking to Samson's parents. When I say the angel is a spirit from God. Right. And it was talking to angels uh, to Samson's mother. Right. Okay. Okay. For the child shall be a Nazarite unto God from the womb. So he said, so the child, because the child, which is Samson, is going to be a Nazarite from the womb. So what I mean when he's born, right. he's he under, he's a Nazarite. Go ahead. Now he's telling them because the parents are not Nazarites. Right. Okay. Go ahead. And he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. Remember I told y'all about the 12 tribes of Israel. So Samson's job, quest in life, was to deliver the Israelites from under their captivity. All right, listen to this, brother. Listen to this. All right, you got five minutes. All I need. All right, now let me get the Nazarite down. Hey, that child should be a Nazarite from the uh, from the womb. Okay. So that's the reason the guy put it like that. This is why. Go ahead. Numbers chapter six verse two. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak to the children of Israel, the twelve tribes. Okay. And say unto them. When either man or woman shall separate themselves to vow a vow of a Nazarite. That's what that brother was basically saying. He was basically under the vow of a Nazarite. And this is a, this word is coming from who, brother? That's you, him. It's coming from God. 
God, right. God is saying, see so to what you did. Yeah, and he said he started talking to the children of Israel, and he's yeah, saying, but he won't get it because he's under that oath or whatever, under that. You know well, let's, let's, let's do it again. I want to confuse. To vow a vow of a Nazarite to separate themselves unto the Lord. So the, it is a thing called the Nazarite vow. Right. The and vow, right. what the brother was saying, like he was saying, was he was under that vow. Right. Basically, the vow of a Nazarite to separate yourself from not saying separate like stop dealing with right. but there's certain things you can't do anymore that other Israelites do you're under that vow, right? exactly here you go right. he shall separate himself from wine and strong drink and shall drink no vinegar of wine or vinegar of strong drink neither shall he drink any liquor of grapes nor eat moist grapes or dry all the days of his separation shall he eat nothing that is made of the vine tree from the kernels even to the husk all the days of the vial of his separation there shall no razor come upon his head until the days be fulfilled into which he separated himself so under the nazarite vow when you, it's, a, it's an oath you take to the most high and when you take that oath you have set you have to separate yourself from certain things strong drink wine certain uh, a lot of things so even meats and you cannot cut your hair with during the days of that vow Samson was under the Nazarite vow for life. But not only did Samson break the Nazarite vow when he cut his hair, he broke many commandments. But the brother came up and he got, I didn't even have to say nothing. He came up, said he got 12 minutes. He ready to cut me up real quick. Then he ran. We didn't even get to get to the meat of it. We, we barely touched the, <laughs> scratched the surface. We didn't do nothing. He ran off, but he's, he's misquoting he, his, his understanding on the Nazarite, a Nazarene, is off. The Nazarene vow comes from the Most High, the Bible that he didn't want to deal with. 